All right, meteorologist Dean Davis and the weather pros, Responding Fire, we're talking here about what's going to happen over the next few days. Let me tell you, it's actually not going to be bad around here in the East Coast. We have a little bit of rain that's going to move away here in the Northeast. That's going to just basically, with that upper level low sitting out here, it's just basically going to rope around and move on out over the next day or so. We're going to have a little bit of possible showers and thunderstorms in this generalized area as you get some storms coming in in the next couple of uh, next couple of days here in the Midwest. But high pressure is going to be in full control of the area. So that's what's going to be good about that. So we're going to move on over to what we're going to see in the Midwest, which is a lot different. Um, we're just generalizing what may come eight or eight or so days down the road for us. Um, we're going to get into this pattern in the Midwest that's very nasty. So as you see here, we have the slight risk of severe thunderstorms here in the Midwest and also down here, parts of Memphis, Tennessee, parts of Arkansas, parts of uh, southern Missouri. You see nothing on the East Coast going on here. Like I said, that high pressure is going to be what saves our butt. As we move along, you'll see what happens. And you'll see that there's going to be an issue here in the Midwest really ramping up. And when we get into the three-day or Thursday into Friday, you see Chicago's in a problem, parts of Iowa. There are going to be some issues there. As we move along, and this is going to get even worse for people in the Midwest, I'm going to do this day by day so we can sit here and talk about it. You will see that day four, we have a major potential outbreak here in the Midwest in Tornado Alley. So it'll be the first day we actually get to see chances of tornadic activity widespread. Then it continues. So if you're storm chasing in the Midwest, or no people that are, they're going to do good. This will then move into Missouri and Little Rock and all that area by the time we get on to uh, like Friday and Saturday. And then we ramp it back up into the midwest this eventually will move east as the high pressure breaks down next week so the chances of your weather will probably likely be tuesday and on for next week here in the east coast other than that you know we from another tornado with the camel county tornado the other day which did not have a warning let's let me explain that to you the national weather service is not perfect they're a great group of men and women that work uh, a lot of stress goes on lots of situations with the radar don't catch it very well especially out as you get across Campbell and further out, it's not as good of a radar signature. So not every storm is warned. That's why if you have a thunderstorm that is severe, or it seems to be severe, if you see a wall cloud, you need to take cover yourself. So my basis for this is the state that, once again, we're in an increase of tornadic activity this year. We're going to probably surpass next uh, last year, this year, because we have such a long period of time left to go, and we're already creeping in on like almost 20 tornadoes already this year. And with 34 last year, I think we're at 19 or 20. We're real close, and we still got the rest of May, June, which is notorious around here. And then we got into the fall months, tropical systems. You can add a whole bunch of situations that could make it even a worse tornado year here in Virginia. But anytime there's severe weather, and I, or we call for severe weather, we want you to have multiple ways of warning. Use your cell phone. But don't always just use stuff and get a weather radio. Weather radios are great and they're getting cheaper by the day. And they alert you to your county of severe weather. Learn your counties. Learn where you live and the counties that surround you because that's a big problem we're finding here in the service of weather is that we cannot get out to, we don't, people don't understand where they live. So that's a major impact also. Do all that, become more weather aware. We'll talk to you again soon. Meteorologist Dean Davison, the Weather Pros and Responding Fire. Have a great one.